Find the terms of sequence using the general term. Find the first four terms of the sequence using the general term. In finding the sequence, it is just substituting the assigned values of n into the given general term. May we have one example of a general term? The general term a, sub n is equal to n plus 1. Let us assign a values of n, since we were finding the first four terms of the sequence. Then, we will assign a values of n from 1 to 4. Let us begin in finding the first term of the sequence. Using the given general term a sub n is equal to n plus 1. First, substitute the value of n which is 1. So, we have a sub 1 is equal to substitute the value of n which is 1. Plus 1. Then, we have a sub 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, the value of first term of the sequence is 2. Let us find the second term. Using again the given general term which is a sub n is equal to n plus 1. First, substitute the value of n which is 2. So, we have a sub 2 is equal to substitute the value of n which is 2. Plus 1. Then, we have a sub 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, the second term of the sequence is 3. Let us move on to find the third term. Using the given general term a sub n is equal to n plus 1. First, substitute the value of n which is 3. So, we have a, sub 3 is equal to substitute the value of n which is 3. Plus 1. Then, we have a sub 3 is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Therefore, the third term of the sequence is 4. Lastly the fourth term. Using again the given general term a sub n is equal to n plus 1. First, substitute the value of n which is 4. So, we have a sub 4 is equal to substitute the value of n which is 4. Plus 1. Then, we have a sub 4 is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, the fourth term of the sequence is 5. Therefore, the first four terms of the given general term are 2, 3, 4, and 5. May we have example number 2. The general term, a, sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. Let us assign a value of n, since we were finding the first four terms of the sequence. Then we will assign a value of n from 1 to 4. Let us begin in finding the first term of the sequence. Using the given general term, a sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. First, substitute the value of n which is 1. So, we have a sub 1 is equal to 3, then substitute the value of n which is 1. Plus 2. Then, we have a sub 1 is equal to 3 multiplied to 1 is equal to 3 plus 2. Then, we have a sub 1 is equal to is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, the value of first term of the sequence is 5. Let us find the second term. Using again the given general term, which is a, sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. First, substitute the value of n which is 2. So, we have a sub 2 is equal to 3 multiplied by substitute the value of n which is 2. Plus 2. Then, we have a sub 2 is equal to 3 times 2 is equal to 6 plus 2. So, we have a sub 2 is equal to 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, the second term of the sequence is 8. Let us move on to find the third term. Using the given general term, a, sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. First, substitute the value of n which is 3. So, we have a, sub 3 is equal to 3 multiply substitute the value of n which is 3. Plus 2. So, we have a, sub 3 is equal to 3 times 3 is equal to 9 plus 2. Then, we have a sub 3 is equal to 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. 
therefore, the third term of the sequence is 11. Lastly the fourth term. Using again the given general term, a, sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. First, substitute the value of n which is 4. So, we have a, sub 4 is equal to 3 multiply substitute the value of n which is 4, plus 2. So, we have a, sub 4 is equal to 3 times 4 is equal to 12 plus 2. Then, we have a sub 4 is equal to 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. So, the fourth term of the sequence is 14. Therefore, the first four terms of the given general term are 5, 8, 11, and 14. May we have example number 3. The general term, a, sub n is equal to n cube. Let us assign a value of n, since we were finding the first four terms of the sequence. Then we will assign a value of n from 1 to 4. Let us begin in finding the first term of the sequence. Using the given general term, a sub n is equal to n cube. First, substitute the value of n which is 1. So, we have a sub 1 is equal to substitute the value of n which is 1 or 1 cube. Then, we have a sub 1 is equal to 1 cube meaning 1 times 1, times 1. Then, we have a sub 1 is equal to 1 times 1, times 1 the product is 1. Therefore, the value of first term of the sequence is 1. Let us find the second term. Using the given general term, a sub n is equal to n cube. First, substitute the value of n which is 2. So, we have a sub 2 is equal to substitute the value of n which is 2 or 2 cubes. Then, we have a sub 2 is equal to 2 cubes meaning 2 times 2, times 2. Then, we have a sub 2 is equal to 2 times 2, times 2 the product is 8. Therefore, the second term of the sequence is 8. Let us move on to find the third term. Using the given general term, a sub n is equal to n cube. First, substitute the value of n which is 3. So, we have a sub 3 is equal to substitute the value of n which is 3 or 3 cubes. Then, we have a sub 3 is equal to 3 cubes meaning 3 times 3, times 3. Then, we have a sub 3 is equal to 3 times 3, times 3 the product is 27. Therefore, the third term of the sequence is 27. Lastly the fourth term. Using the given general term, a sub n is equal to n cube. First, substitute the value of n which is 4. So, we have a sub 4 is equal to substitute the value of n which is 4 or 4 cubes. Then, we have a sub 4 is equal to 4 cubes meaning 4 times 4, times 4. Then, we have a sub 4 is equal to 4, times 4 times 4 the product is 64. So, the fourth term of the sequence is 64. Therefore, the first four terms of the given general term are 1, 8, 27, and 64. May we have example number 4. The general term, a, sub n is equal to 5 raised to n. Let us assign a value of n, since we were finding the first four terms of the sequence. Then we will assign a value of n from 1 to 4. Let us begin in finding the first term of the sequence. Using the given general term, a, sub n is equal to 5 raised to n. First, substitute the value of n which is 1. So, we have a, sub 1 is equal to 5 raised to substitute the value of n which is 1. Then, we have a sub 1 is equal to 5 raised to 1 is equal to 5. Therefore, the value of first term of the sequence is equal to 5. Let us find the second term. Using the given general term, a, sub n is equal to 5 raised to n. First, substitute the value of n which is 2. So, 
we have a sub 2 is equal to 5 raised to substitute the value of n which is 2. Then, we have a sub 2 is equal 5 raised to 2 meaning 5 times 5. Then, we have a, sub 2 is equal to 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Therefore, the second term of the sequence is 25. Let us move on to find the third term. Using the given general term, a, sub n is equal to 5 raised to n. First, substitute the value of n which is 3. So, we have a, sub 3 is equal to 5 raised to substitute the value of n which is 3. Then, we have a, sub 3 is equal 5 raised to 3 meaning 5 times 5, times 5. Then, we have a, sub 3 is equal to 5 times 5, times 5 is equal to 125. Therefore, the third term of the sequence is 125. Lastly the fourth term. Using the given general term, a, sub n is equal to 5 raised to n. First, substitute the value of n which is 4. So, we have a, sub 4 is equal to 5 raised to substitute the value of n which is 4. Then, we have a sub 4 is equal 5 raised to 4 meaning 5 times 5, times 5, times 5. Then, we have a, sub 4 is equal to 5 times 5, times 5, times 5 is equal to 625. So, the fourth term of the sequence is 625. Therefore, the first four terms of the given general term are 5, 25, 125, and 625. For more videos on mathematics, please don't forget to subscribe.